So this is my setup right now. And uh, as you can see, this here's the AC unit. Um, I have uh, an adapter to a door. And these are the two, um, the two vent pipes that I have now. And they're going to the outside. Uh, nothing special right now. The only thing that I did is I have a third uh, pipe here that uh, actually goes nowhere and is just mounted to the top of the door. So the AC pulls a little bit more of the air from the top of the room where it's the warmest. And the performance increase was basically infinite uh, because before these mods, um, with just uh, one vent, <laughs> um, it would actually pull so much air from the other rooms and the outside that it would not get down uh, to 26 degrees when it was 35 <laughs> outside. And um, well, now it does. And uh, it goes into a very nice on off rhythm and it's not on for more than maybe one or two minutes. So, well, the, the two vents back here um, with two hoses works absolutely perfectly. And I'll show you the, uh, the modifications that I made. In fact, the first modification that I had uh, was just uh, this very simple <laughs> plug here where the hose would go and that would fit into the opening where it usually draws in air. Uh, the only thing that I don't have right now is I don't have an intake uh, filter um, because uh, the mesh screen is part of the um, of the plastic part that covers the opening, but that should be really easy to fix. Um, there are some other things that I want to try, um, like building a funnel-shaped inlet that should increase in efficiency even more, and uh, maybe we can measure that. Uh, but so far, the differences with this mod are great. And as I said, I had I did nothing to the machine. This is all just exterior. You basically don't have to open these uh, cheap Mydea units. And I think they're perfect for converting to a dual hose. So back on the desk. Um, Here's the AC unit, um, this is the back, and uh, the first test with a second hose I did by making um, this here from full material, and I just stuck this on with some tape, and it worked quite good. Um, like I said, when I just had one hose attached, I could not get uh, the room to go uh, below 26 degrees uh, because it was just pulling in too much air from outside and um, With two hoses even with this setup um, it took um, about three minutes uh, to cool the room down and uh, That was really impressive. So I Improved on this design By making something from wood uh, This is three millimeter plywood that I cut with the laser and this one didn't work at all because I kind of uh, messed the measuring part up. So I went back and I made this one, uh, which is just a very simple baffle and it fits in here pretty much perfectly. And I could just fix this with uh, some tape and it worked and it worked really well um, the it would now go down um, to 26 degrees which is what I want it would take care of the uh, humidity in the air and it would go into an on off rhythm um, where the on time uh, was like about two minutes and I think that's about perfect and the off time is, is more than two minutes um, but uh, it's kind of windy outside, uh, slight cloud cover, so it's not laboratory conditions. So, um, 
yeah, I was really happy with that. But somebody in the comments to the other video suggested making a funnel shape. And I thought, why not? So I made this. Uh, this here is a slight funnel shape. Um, of course, it's an invert inverted funnel. And I also added um, a slight baffle in here um, to create some more uh, turbulence in the air, just to make sure that we're hitting the, um, the heat exchanger uh, as violently and as irregularly as possible to get a good spread. And um, this thing also fits in here super well, even better than the other one. Um, and this thing is not a lot better than this one, but what I was able to um, find out from that was that when I was using this one, then the, the body um, in the lower part of the AC uh, was getting, well, pretty hot. With, with this thing, this is no longer the case. And I have the feeling that the temperature uh, coming out is even higher, um, which I thought would go down, but I think we're just grabbing so much energy from everywhere in there now, um, and we're just getting it all outside. Uh, like I said in the beginning, um, the isolation between the two chambers, or between the three chambers here, is absolutely perfect. Uh, this is a really, really good unit for doing this type of conversion on. And um, the thing that I did last was I actually added a third hose um, in the back of here, um, not really attached with anything, but just going above this so it would pull more air from higher in the room. Um, air stacks really well, so the higher you are in the room, the higher the temperature of the air is. And uh, if you want to get good circulation, you want to grab um, the air from as high as possible. That is why all the split ACs um, are mounted as high up on the room as possible, because that's where all of the hot air is, and cool air will just sink to the bottom. And uh, that change had a massive impact on the performance. Um, I actually lost one minute in cooling down to 26 degrees, and even then uh, it stayed way cooler uh, further away from the unit, so the, the mixing of the air was way better. So um, yeah, that's, a, that's what I've done so far. And these, I think these, this is the light series from Medea. Um, they're available everywhere. Uh, this is 7000 BTU. And with all of these modifications, this is working way better than the 9000 BTU unit I modified. I don't know why, but I'm not complaining. Um, and the, the best thing about this is this weighs a lot less than the big 9000 BTU unit. So I'm really, really happy. Oh, and also, um, I did not have any problems with not having a hose attached to the, um, to the condensate, um, to, to the water outlet. I guess it is taking care, it's taking care of the uh, condensation uh, pretty well by itself. Also, because I have such a low duty cycle, um, the, the, the warmth inside of the unit will probably evaporate that water pretty quickly. So all in all, this is a super upgrade. And I think it also looks kind of good. Um, yeah, that's it for now. Uh, I mean, uh, regarding um, a dual hose conversion, this is a super unit. Having a three hose conversion on these and actually taking the air from the top of the room makes it still a lot better. Um, since this thing never got to 26 degrees in the beginning uh, without pulling in so much humid air from the outside, 
I can't even calculate the gains. Um, it is just amazing the way this thing works out right now. So, yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. Um, thank you very, thank you very much for watching, and bye-bye. Uh,